Rib stitch, or ribbing, is a useful stitch that stretches horizontally, then springs back into shape. This makes it the stitch of choice whenever you need a snug fit, so it's found on the cuffs of gloves and jumpers and along the lower edge of garments. It's also good for woolly hats, scarves and cowls. This is Knit 2 Pearl 2 Rib, a basic version of the stitch, which is abbreviated to K2P2 Rib in patterns. It's made by alternating two knit and two purl stitches to the end of each row. This creates the distinctive vertical ridges, which look the same on both sides. You can see that ribbed stitches are much thicker than stocking stitch, so ribbing is usually worked on finer needles than those used for the main garment. K2P2 rib is worked over a multiple of four stitches. Knit the first two stitches of the row. Then bring the yarn forward between the needles and purl the next two. Take the yarn back and knit two stitches. Bring it forward and purl two stitches. Repeat these four stitches all the way along the row. Keep a steady tension on the yarn as you move it from front to back, so that your ribbing stays tight and even. If the stitches become too loose, the ridges will flare out and lose their spring so it's worth taking time to practice. When you've purled the last stitches, swap the needles round, ready for the next row. This is worked in exactly the same way and you will now be knitting into the stitches that were purled on the last row and purling into the knitted stitches. Carry on in the same way until you have the required depth of ribbing.